Today, I'm sharing the level to watch on the Euro USD that could trigger a move back toward those range lows. We're also going to discuss the DXY and the latest there. So for the Euro USD, obviously still a very sideways market, very range bound, very indecisive. Um, it really hasn't been the best trading conditions here over the past few weeks. But with that in mind, what we've talked about here recently in these videos is the fact that the market is still hanging around this 111.40 area, which it looked like we got to close just above this mark last week. However, this wasn't really convincing enough above the top of this channel here in order to confirm a breakout for the euro. So if you'll notice here off of these two lows, we've got this level up here that runs parallel, right? So resistance back here on the close below, resistance here again. It kind of looked like we might get a break above last week, but not really convincing enough to show that the euro USD was going to break out toward these highs and potentially higher this week. Now we are seeing the market rotate lower today. However, the key here for the euro, and we're going to talk about the DXY, a similar level there for the US dollar index is going to be this level right around 111.10. Okay, so if we map this out here, and I'm going to get rid of this red box that represents um, consolidation in the form of resistance for now, just to make this a little bit more clear. But if you'll notice here, the price action on the daily, we have this low right back here, or this closing price, I should say, off of this red candle. So if we snap this level right here to this closing price, what you're going to notice is that at the moment we have the euro USD holding above this key level. So notice what happened back here. We got the close above, right? Clearly the market was making higher highs and higher lows back here. This level formed a support level over these two candles. We got the close above, we got the close below, and look what became resistance through here. The market never closed above this mark on this NFP candle. Now at the moment, you can see where the euro USD closed back above through here and so far is holding above it as support. This has been going on now for about a week. So the level to watch here for the euro, in my opinion, is going to be this area right around 111.10, maybe just above. Okay, so you can see that this, and I'm going to get rid of this one here just to kind of clean this up a little bit, but this is the level here to watch, in my opinion. So within this range, what you'll notice here is that 111.10 is very close to the mid-range of this current range that we're in. So in other words, if we draw it like this here, okay, so let's go ahead and draw a rectangle across here just to kind of represent the current range that the euro usd has been in now for the past few weeks okay so if we assume right now that this market is still range bound which it is right it hasn't broken out yet then this level right through here is essentially the mid-range okay very close to the 50 percent of this high back here down here toward this low so the key for the euro usd right now is if you were able to get short up here, obviously that was a you know pretty good entry based on today's price action. But if you are sitting on the sideline, in my opinion, it's probably going to take a daily close, a sustained break back below this mark here in order to expose those range lows right around 110. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and we're going to talk about this on the DXY as well, but one thing to keep in mind here with the Euro USD is that so far, what you'll notice back here is this high right here, this high did not take out this one. Okay. Same thing back here. We've only seen one low here for the Euro USD. So what we know about highs and lows like this is that liquidity forms above highs like this up here and below these lows. Okay. So the fact that the market is still contained within this first swing high back here and this first swing low tells us that there is liquidity below these lows and liquidity above these highs and markets tend to seek out liquidity. Okay. So if we know that there's liquidity down here, we also know that this is the bottom of this channel here, okay? Then a close below this area here, a sustained break below, would likely target this low down here around 110 and a potentially just below that mark in order to sweep this low. Because remember, liquidity built up below here, right? There are stop losses below this low and markets tend to seek out that liquidity. So again, you know, if we get the sustained break below 111.10, then we're looking at potentially that move back here toward the range lows, and we probably see the euro sweep those lows before we get a bounce. Now, let's take a look here at the DXY, because we have something similar there for the US dollar index as well. So right now, you can see that the DXY is holding above that late 2023 low that we've talked about. So right around 100.6, you can see back here, that was the low here. And so far, that is holding up for the DXY. The market closed above that last week, and that's why I said in the weekly forecast, that I would not be targeting US dollar weakness while the DXY was above 100.6. All right, so what is it gonna take for the DXY to move back here toward these range highs? 
All right. So once again, I'm going to get rid of this here just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, and in fact, I'm going to get rid of this one as well, just to make this really clean. Okay. So what we have here for the DXY is we have the market holding within this range. Okay. So uh, similar to the Euro USD, we're going to draw a rectangle across these lows down here and these highs. Okay. So the market is range bound until proven otherwise. And at the moment, the market is coming off of these range lows, right? So this is the level down here that I mentioned in the weekly forecast to keep an eye on. And this is what the DXY would have to break below in order to target 99.6. Now, just because the market is holding above these lows down here, though, doesn't necessarily make this a buy. So the level for the DXY, in my opinion, that it has to get above is going to be this closing price from right back here. Okay, so right around 101.05. And you could even draw this a little bit lower off of these closing prices through here. So what we can say about this right now is that yes, it is range bound. However, it has not really shown us enough strength to consider this a dollar long off of these, off of these lows back there toward the 102 area. So it's going to take, in my opinion, a sustained break above this area here, right around 101. Okay, a sustained break above this in order to target some of these highs up there toward 102. Now, just like with the euro, it's important to understand what's happening here with the liquidity, okay? So markets seek out liquidity and liquidity we know builds beyond highs and lows like we've seen here over the past few weeks. So back here, off of this low back here, there was liquidity that built up below this, okay? So this low right here, of course, there were stop loss orders down here in this area, we saw that swept here on that FOMC candle. That's why we saw this candle move lower to sweep that liquidity. Again, markets need liquidity to operate. They seek liquidity, especially in range-bound markets like this. Now, what's important to understand here is that this high up here was not taken out on this one, okay? This high right here did not take out this one. So the liquidity that built up from this high, this first swing high, is still there, okay? this liquidity up here has not been taken out yet. So this is one reason why we could see the DXY move higher, right? Because again, markets seek liquidity and the liquidity from this low down here was taken out here on this candle. However, the liquidity above this high up here was not taken out during this swing high. So for the DXY, what it's going to come down to is this up here could become a target, okay, just above that 101.90 area. But again, we need to see it closing above 101 to establish itself back here within the upper portion of this range. Okay. So until that time, guys, I really don't favor looking for dollar longs. I think if we see the DXY above this area on the daily chart, then I think we have that momentum for that potential move back there toward 102, potentially sweep these highs up here and grab that liquidity. All right. So same thing for the Euro guys. I want to see those two things happen in tandem. I want to see the DXY above 101 and the Euro USD getting below 111.10. I think if we see that both of those things, then we could see the euro target those range lows. But until that time, really, we just have a very indecisive market and a range within a range. Subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications. Don't forget too to join us in VIP. Claim your 90% off lifetime access. See the link in the description of this video. Or if you're on the website, click on that join VIP link. Trade well out there and I will talk to you again tomorrow.